Hi guys, today I'm going to talk to you a little about word clouds and um, I'm going to have you guys practice using word clouds today for all kinds of reading comprehension tasks. Word clouds are extremely useful, especially if you have um, if you have any issues with reading comprehension where you sometimes will have problems figuring out what the main idea of a reading passage is or pulling out vocabulary that you might need beforehand before you could read something or even to help you summarize uh, something you, that you read. So I'm going to show you a really cool tool that you could use today for a lot of reasons, but especially for reading comprehension. And, and that is for that is word clouds. For, so for today's activity, you're going to go to the assistive technology unit in Google Classroom. There is a word cloud activity for you with two uh, Google Docs attached to it. The um, first one is called the activity itself. And the one, second one is the word cl cloud article. If I go to my word cloud activity, it's going to give me the directions on what to do and what I'm going to fill in. You're going to fill in everything below this line over here where it says part one, part two, and part three. And what you're going to do first is you're going to open the word cloud, cloud article and copy and paste the article, but don't read it. I know it sounds crazy, but we're going to come back and go, and I'm going to actually, this is the article I'm going to give you, but I don't want to give it away all the, give away all the answers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a sample article. So I have a similar article here, and I'm just going to copy and paste. So if you hit control A, or if you just use your mouse to select all the text in the article, no matter how long it is, you could even do this with a, a chapter of a book. And I'm going to just copy. Okay, and then I'm going to come back, or I'm going to open a new tab, and I'm actually going to go to a website called wordart.com. Okay, when you sign in for the first time, I'll sign up so you can see, uh, when you sign in for the first time, you could either sign up or log in if you have an account already. So if this is a new website for you, hit sign up, and one of the choices you'll get is to sign up using Google. Once you do that, it'll keep track of all your different word clouds that you'll create, which is awesome. I have like literally dozens of them. So to create a new word cloud, we're going to hit the create button. And this will bring up a little window for us. And we're going to do stuff on the left side. And then you'll see how it'll look over here on this side. So the first section over here is words. We have to copy and paste our words in. So we're going to hit import. And in this little box, we're going to just paste. Control V is paste, by the way. Um, and then there's the whole article. I didn't read the article. I don't want you to read the article. And we're going to leave these like three things unchecked. So remove common words, some numbers, and stemming. Stemming is like dashes and stuff like that, hyphenated words. So we're going to import words. And it, what it's going to do, it's going to take all the words in that article, and it's going to sort them by how many times they're used. So some words are going to be have be there more times. And when I hit the red visualize button, it's going to visualize those words and put the most important words the biggest. So this one is math, vote, elect, CNN, president, win, number, people. Okay, so that's telling me, first of all, words I need to know to read this article that I probably need to understand. And it's also helping me get an idea of what this article is going to potentially be about. I'm going to be honest with you, though, I don't like this font because I, as a dyslexic, have a hard time reading that. So I'm going to show you how you could change your word cloud. So notice over here, the next section is shapes. You could put your uh, word cloud in a different shape. So like this one's a heart. I still don't like that font. And there's all kinds of different options here for you. If I want um, money or numbers, I could do that. Let's do number one. Because why not? That's a good number. So there it is. Or I could put a two because we are 2020. There you go. And that, that'll put uh, those words in that shape because that seems to be a math seems to be a big concept for this. Uh, you could also choose the type of font. And this is actually really important for me because I have trouble reading some of these crazier fonts. So I'm going to choose kind of a fat font 
like something like franchise or expressway here. And I'm going to hit visualize after I make that choice. And what that's going to do is going to make it a little easier, fatter fonts for me to read. This is a lot easier for me to read. Then you could go to layout. And guys, I'm going to recommend if you don't have any problems like reading these words, you could try different configurations. Whereas I like, this is really hard for me to read because they're all different ways. If that's okay with you, go ahead and do that. Otherwise, if you it's harder for you to read, do choose horizontal and then visualize and all the words will be like left to right then. You could also change, this is actually pretty important, the density. It's usually set to 20%, but usually if you raise it up to like 45% and visualize, the words will be closer together and there'll be a lot more versions of the words. You can see over here, there's really tiny ones and the bigger ones as well. Um, and then the last one is style and style is kind of like colors. So I don't really like this yellow against the white background. So, but there's a background color here. I could come over to background and make that red and that looks a lot better. Or I could come over here and I could leave that as white as a white background, but maybe I'm going to co come over here and change the word color. So if I hit custom, I could come over here to these colors and either oh, I don't want pink or this light blue, but I want darker colors. That's what I like. And you could just add them to your palette as you want. And you could have as many as you want here. So once you have enough, uh, see it changes it there. To me, this is a lot more readable and easier to read. You could also change this. See the, how the Rolo co my rollover color is black background with a white font. I'm going to change that. I'm going to make that a yellow background. Oh, I'm sorry. I want red background, a red a text with a yellow background. And you'll see when it pops out, it looks like that. So I could really see the difference. Okay. So, and then all you have to do is visualize one last time. Make sure everything's working well. You like it. It looks good. Okay. That looks pretty good to me. So I am going to change the name of it up here. So I'm going to call it uh, word cloud and I'm going to say math article. And then, um, yeah, see over here, there's a um, save button. I'm going to save this to my account in WordArt, but I could also download this to my computer. So I'm going to just hit the download button and I'm going to hit standard PNG or standard JPEG. These over here, guys, that have the little HD in front of it, that means you have to pay for those. We're not paying. So choose PNG or JPEG at the top and you're going to save it to your downloads folder on your computer. And it's saved. Okay, I can see it's down here now. So you're going to come back to the Word uh, Cloud activity, which is right here. And in part one, you're going to actually paste, you're going to insert your Word Cloud. Now, here's a trick. If you see it down here, you could just drag it and that'll put it in there. You just might have to make it a little bit smaller so it fits better like that. Um, if you don't want to do it that way, if you don't see it down here, you could also go to insert image upload from computer and go to your downloads folder and click on it that way. Again, just make sure it's a little smaller so uh, it won't take up the whole page. Okay. Then you're going to go to part two. Part, part two, you're going to, because you haven't read the article yet. I haven't read this article. So you're going to make predictions. Look at the word cloud only. What do you think this article is going to be about? Just look at the biggest words. The biggest words are in the article more times. That means they're more important. So this, I'm guessing this is going to be about voting and the math needed to count all the votes. I mean, I'm just guessing here, but like that's the presidential election. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just write that in here. You could use voice uh, typing for this as well. So um, math skills needed for counting um, presidential election votes. Okay, that's all I have to say. It's one sentence. That's a good, like that's a, that'll be a good summary of what I think this article is gonna be about. 
Looking at your word cloud, number two, are there any words you think you need to know before you will understand this article? So look through and you might have to go back to your word cloud here to see if you see if there's any words that like correspondent do you know what correspondent means do you know what uh, electoral means so that might be a hard one um i think most of these other words i think i understand electoral though politicians equations that looks like a name lindgren maybe that's somebody who is a counter so I'm going to go back to my article here on uh, my assignment, and I'm going to say list any words like electoral. And you could hit uh, enter and type more words if you think they're not going to fit, uh, that you need to look those up. And then after that, for part three, you're going to go back and listen to the article and to see if your predictions were right. So use you could use Read and Write for Google to listen to the article if you want. So you could listen to the article or you could read it if you're okay just reading it on your own. Once you're done reading this article, and this has a lot of math in this article, I'm reading, skimming it very quickly, but really it's about how like equations work and how important counting is to be accurate when you're counting something like an election. So was my prediction right? I'm gonna say yes. My prediction was right. You don't have to like write a big long sentence. If it was wrong, say how it was wrong. Tell me how it was wrong. And then what I want you to do is summarize the article. And here's a trick guys. The biggest words in your word cloud should be part of your summarizing. So, and it doesn't have to be longer than one or two sentences. So, math skills needed to count a national election once people vote. <coughs> really, that's what this article is about. So what we've just done, we've come up with the main idea of this article We've read the article, we looked at any potential vocabulary words, and then we summarized it all using a word cloud. Word clouds are awesome and people, you should use them more often. So I highly encourage you to use word clouds as you're reading stuff, especially hard to read stuff, like chapters of books or even chapters from a textbook. Uh, this is a great tool to give you a lot of information about what you need, what vocabulary you need, and how to summarize it and come up with the main idea. All right. So you're going to do the th same thing, but with a different article about the Virgin Hyperloop. Okay. Don't forget to turn in the article. And it says right that right here, turn in your, your article, this document, this activity when you are done. Okay. If you have any questions, please email me. I will be um, out of the building on Friday, but uh, I will email you and help you with it next week if I need to. Just do your best on it and have fun.